When our kids were grown, we were hit with a strong desire to see the world. And so we decided to document our journeys to help other first-time travelers. I'm Mark. And I'm Terry. And we're Escaping the Empty Nest. Hey there, and welcome back. We hope you're enjoying our series on first time cruising on Carnival. Uh, today's episode, we're going to talk about things to check out on a cruise as far as dining goes. Uh, things that you want to make sure you check out because they're really special and really exciting. And it's, it's something you, you want to make sure you don't miss out on. So the first thing, and probably one of the first things I think about when it comes to dining on a cruise is breakfast. Uh, when you get up in the morning, it's so nice just to be able to walk to the Lido deck, and we never get the Lido buffet. Because honestly, the eggs are terrible. They're powdered eggs, they mix them with water, they're flavorless, and they're just disgusting. So what you want to do is avoid those and head straight for the omelet station. Because when you're at the omelet station, there's usually a line for the omelet station, but here's a life hack. There's usually two omelet stations. The one furthest in the back of the boat uh, the aft uh, omelet station usually has a shorter line than the one in the middle. Because I don't think people realize there's two all the time. But there you can get fresh eggs, you can get them over easy, you can get them scrambled, or you can do what we do and always get your morning omelets. Yeah. You can ask them bacon, peppers, cheese, whatever you want. The they'll tomatoes, mix it in. Onions, they'll, yeah. they'll custom make it to whatever that you would like to have on there. And um, they're delicious. Now we've heard from people in our cruise group, people say, well, if you like those omelets, you should check out the omelets at the uh, the the sea day brunch and so we did today for the first time we didn't get our omelet on the lido we went to the sea day brunch and you know what it was the same omelet exactly the same now it was a different setting it was more of a formal setting and yeah. we didn't have to stand in line but it ended up taking a lot longer because you know you're waiting for somebody to take your order and bring it back to you but if you do decide to go ahead and use the lido line um not only are there stuff like that, you can get French toast, you can get oh, pancakes, yeah. you can get fruit. Um, there's just there's a wide variety of things, but I think we just tend to shy away from the eggs and the oh, Lido yeah. deck. The rest of it's you fine. It's get, sausage, yeah. chocolate milk, whatever. You but, can get cereal and stuff. Yeah. There's, there's, there's plenty of choices for breakfast there, but our favorite one is yeah. omelet. Just stay away from the powdered eggs. They're nasty. <laughs> So our next tip is about the dining in the evening for dinner time. And there are three options that you can do for that. Um, early dining, and then you can choose the late dining, or you can choose your time dining or any time dining. Um, we usually choose early because that's six o'clock and the later is usually too late for us to eat. But um, the thing that is so super nice about eating in the, you're eating in the formal dining room. I remember our first cruise that we went on, it was just really special to me because you've got all, everything set out so nice and formally. You have a, a wait staff that learns your name and knows your name every night. Um, you come in when you first sit down, it's, hi, Teresa, how are you doing tonight? And uh, yeah. they remember that I like hot tea. Yes. Every time I sit down, they already have the hot tea ready. And it's just, it's so super nice. And it feels a little bit special if you're not used to going out and eating at fancy places. You kind of feel fancy. You feel pampered. Even though yeah. on your, on, on the cruise. And so the late dining is the same thing. You'll have your same assigned table each night, the same wait staff, um, and that wears well. That one is usually later, about 8 p.m. or so, uh, if you want to choose it. And then there's your time dining which you could just show up and you talk yep. to the maitre d and you say you have a table for two and they will go and search around and when Next they find an available, available yep. table of two you will take that table for that night you won't have the same weight staff that you had before but some people that doesn't really matter right. um, they just want to go whenever the show is over and you know they want to go after the yeah. show but they don't want to well, miss you there, know. There's definitely an advantage to doing it that way because there's mm -hmm. been a couple of things. So it's like, well, we the karaoke might start at seven o'clock, but we're you're still going to be in the dining room. So mm -hmm. if there is something you want to see at seven and you have early dining, maybe you do want to do early dining that day or the, the anytime dining. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So the next tip is when you are at the dining room, don't be bashful about ordering more than one thing off the appetizer menu or the main uh, entree menu. If there's two things on the menu you want to see, like last night I got um, alligator for an, for an appetizer, and I also got this uh, 
flatbread with barbecue chicken on it. And you know what? They were both delicious. So don't think you have to choose. Even if you only intend on eating half of what they give you, you know, and, and not, it's okay. It's fine. They understand. It's your vacation. You're allowed to. Same thing with the main entrees. If there's something you want to order but are kind of unsure about it, you just want to be adventurous, you can order that. And if you don't like it, you can order something else or you can order both at the same time. The other day I got two different things, not knowing if you know, I, I would be able to finish both of them. Sometimes the entrees are a little small, honestly. Mm -hmm. So it takes you know two to get what I consider a full meal out of it. But if you wind up only eating half of each one, uh, we tried the loin steak and it was very fatty and gristly and I kind of had to kind of find the good meat in there. I'm not a big fan of the loin steak. I probably won't be getting that anymore. So I ended up eating about half of the loin steak and half of something else. And it was a good meal. So don't be bashful about ordering more than one thing. They won't look at you funny. They won't think you're a glutton. They will do it with a smile on their face. And that's what's really nice about the main dining room. They'll give you anything you need. Oh, last night I even ordered peanut butter for the side of my chocolate melting cake. I heard that as a tip on one of the cruise groups. I was like, really? I never thought you'd buy getting a side of peanut butter. So you get the chocolate melting cake and you mix in the, a little peanut butter. And then you take the scoop of the uh, melting cake in there. It's like, oh, that was just heavenly. Where have you been my whole life? <laughs> so that's that, you know you can customize your order, or if you have special needs like gluten intolerance, something mm -hmm. like that, they have gluten free bread. It's 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 it, they're they're there to serve you, right. and they do a wonderful job. And um, I would definitely take advantage of the main dining room and all that it offers. So our next tip we've talked about on another video, at least one other video, <laughs> is one of our favorite places to eat on the carnival ships is the Pig and Anchor. Guy Fieri's and Pig and Anchor, yeah. It is the most delicious barbecue. Now, being from the South, we're used to what barbecue is. Granted, I grew up in the North for somewhat, and I grew up in the South for somewhat. Barbecue is different for different yeah. people. If you're from the South and you want barbecue, the Pig and Anchor is where you want to go to get your right. pulled pork, to get brisket, to get your baked, you know, chicken baked beans, yeah. with baked beans and mac and cheese and whatever that you normally would think of if you were barbecuing down south. So if you want hot dogs and hamburgers, Guy Fieri has hamburgers up on the up on the yeah. Lido deck. <laughs> but um, if you want true barbecue that's delicious, it really is yeah. good barbecue. We would eat there every day. It's only open on sea days and on embarkation days. And it is on an outside deck. It is not inside the ship. It's not up on the Lido. Deck you five. have to go to deck five. Well, on this ship, it's deck five. Well, right yeah, we're on the Carnival Breeze. And on the Carnival Breeze, it's on deck five. So yeah. you may want to check it out um, on your cruise ship to see if it has something like that on there as well. But it is amazing it's food. Special. Uh, I think Mark calls it the bomb. It's the bomb. It's, it's the bomb. It's definitely better than anything they have up in the Lido deck. So definitely go check it out at least one of your yeah, sea experience days. Experience one. And, and just, just a bonus tip on Pig and Anchor. Embarkation Day, a lot of people don't know about it yet. Yeah. And so you will probably be one of the few people over there eating. But as more people are getting to know about it, they're coming down from the Lido deck and they're getting it yeah. from there. So Because they tell people, okay, after you load the ship, Go on up to the Lido deck one while you're waiting for your rooms to be ready because it might be three hours between when, two and a half hours from when you get on the ship to when your room is ready at 1.30. They tell people specifically go hang out on the Lido and they don't even mention the uh, Pig and Anchor on deck five is an option. So, so it's, yes, if it, you can find the Pig and Anchor on your ship, you definitely want to try that on embarkation day or any sea day. Right. Now here's another special lunch item that is open every day, not just the sea days. There's an Italian restaurant here called Casino del Capitano, and it's a very good Italian restaurant, but it's an extra cost thing at night, $15 per person, which is a lot cheaper for this than the steakhouse. But what they do for free, and not many people know this, is they're open during the day for lunchtime as a free pasta bar. And you can go in and they give you a checklist of what kind of pasta you want, what, what kind of pasta, what kind of sauce what kind of meat, what kind of, you know, whatever. If you want any vegetables like yeah. zucchini or anything like that in there, you get choice of salads, your choice of breads. Um, yeah. yeah, and then you just, you turn it into 
the waiter or the waitress there and they go and in no time flat you have your it's pasta back. bowl right in front of you yeah. and it's really good pasta yeah. it's not something that you know you get the pasta off the lido deck and yeah. you know you know who knows how long it's sitting there it is freshly made uh pasta and is delicious it's a very good pasta bowl and definitely more special than anything they have on the lido deck we actually haven't eaten from the Lido buffet a single time yet this yeah. entire cruise and yeah. we're on their last sea day so uh, it's possible to avoid the Lido entirely uh, maybe you just don't like buffet crowds maybe you want to sit down but uh, definitely if you're on a ship that says it has the Cucino del, Cap del Capitano Italian restaurant check it out for lunch for and lunch. it's free all right and for our final tip is one that is good any time of the day. Yeah. You can go and get ice cream or uh, soft serve yogurt at the machines around your Lido deck any time of the day. And you get chocolate and vanilla usually for the soft serve ice cream and usually chocolate and strawberry here on our ship for the yogurt. So it's you can delicious. get it. It's really good. Um, it's good at lunchtime. It's good at dinner time. You can debate a lot about what to do on a cruise, but there's one thing there's absolutely no debate about is that ice cream tastes best at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I swear they must put crack in this stuff because it's so addictive. Very much so. Very much so. I told myself before this cruise, like, okay, I'm gonna allow myself dinner, a dessert with dinner, and one ice cream a day. And no. Hadn't worked. And work. Well, this is well, my second today. It's not too bad, but still, yeah, just silly. just limiting yourself to one is too hard. This mm -hmm. stuff's amazing. When you do a cruise, you got to do the soft serve because it is incredible. <laughs> mm. Very good. Very good. Mm. So <laughs> any any time these soft serve stations are are open and you can get ice cream at any yeah. point in time during the day. It's supposed to be 24 hours a day, but sometimes they go down for maintenance. So you yes. have to search for a little search for one. But no, it's it's really good soft serve ice cream, and you could probably gain at least five pounds a day Just eating as much ice cream as you want. Just so. on ice cream. So uh, you, they have them cones, they have little cups there, or you can sneak around the corner and get a coffee cup and get a get bigger ser bigger serving there. I haven't done that this cruise. No, I'm trying to be good. I've, but yeah, I've but been good. <laughs> he's, he's been known to do that in the past. Yes, I have. Yeah, so yeah. we we probably had less ice cream this cruise than other cruises. But that's nothing about the quality of the ice cream. That's us trying not to uh, weigh 600 pounds. So anyway, so we hope these little tips have given you something to look forward to for your first cruise. Uh, we have, we, we've fallen into Carnival because they sail out of Galveston. That's the closest port to our house. And they're more affordable than other cruises. Carnival has a yeah, average reputation as far as food quality goes. But we found several things on this ship that we really enjoy eating. And we just, we look forward to, to be honest with you. It's not one of these things that's, okay, we're going to go, but it's, you know, we're just going to deal with bad food. We don't feel like we're dealing with bad food at all. We really, really enjoy most of the food here. Not all of it, but you learn through a process of elimination what's good and what's not good. Yeah, so. and we've only given you six options here. Of course, there's more than that. There's the blue iguana in here that serves some Mexican food. There is also a Pizza Pirate, which is not very good <laughs> pizza, <laughs> but if you really pizza need pirate. a pizza, yes. uh, if you really need a piece of pizza, then yeah, you can do that. They're open all night. If, and you, feel like, if you feel like food, food at 4 a.m., it's about your only, no it's about your only choice. Yeah. So if these so. are, we, we haven't named all of the choices on here. We've just named the six that we think would be the most beneficial for yeah. you to know about. Anyway. Well, thanks for watching, y'all. We really appreciate you hanging with us while we're working through our carnival uh, cruise videos and uh, check our playlist for other ones or check our playlist for other adventures we've had. We've been to Boston, New York, Hawaii, and we're about to get do a Europe trip. So uh, there's got to be something in there that will help the first time traveler. But we will sign off for now and see you next time. Bye, Bye for now. now.